Hello from the Bahamas. I don't know why I did that moment, but I'm in the Bahamas with Glow Good Foundation and Twice, which is a toothpaste brand co-founded by Lenny Kravitz. Last night we partied at Lenny Kravitz's house. He hosted us, he DJ'd. How I ended up here is a crazy story manifested through Instagram. I always say that Instagram is a manifestation tool and this was just another confirmation. So welcome, see you next week. This is my first mission ever. So I'm gonna give you a glimpse on what it's like to go on a mission, help out, hang out with the local community, and create some smiles. So Jonathan is the reason why I'm here and so many people are here. Why the Bahamas? I was inspired to come here from my friend and patient Lenny Kravitz about five years ago and he said, would you come down and would you help my people? And this is our fourth mission and we're so excited to be here. I'm coming. And here we go. And here we go. Hi. Hi. I'm Joe. To get things done. Day one. People are lining up. Ready? Can we also remove the trash can? There you go. Yes. Today is the first day of our fourth year of the Glow Good Let Love Glow Twice mission. It's our honor to serve the people, to spread love. Let's go team. Yeah, be on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, watch that. What's your name is on YouTube? Breakfast Criminals. Breakfast, Breakfast Criminals? criminals? Sitting here on the beach and feeling so grateful. I just went for a little swim in the pool and I'm drinking my cacao and I'm all alone on this private beach under the clouds. Stars are starting to come out and yesterday I had imposter syndrome come up. I wasn't sure if I can deliver what I signed up for, what I'm expected to deliver. And today, just by showing up and by being in the moment, by being present, by doing the work, I think I cracked the code. I've been really guided to pick up the camera again. Photography was one of my first creative passions when I was a teenager. After seeing Peter Lindbergh's exhibition when I was 16 at the museum in Moscow, I started saving up for a camera. And then I took an expensive photography course and I started photographing my friends. And damn, I'm gonna tell you those photos were incredible. And then something happened. And I started using my camera more for work and food photography. And recently, because of Sorella Moore, shout out Sorella, I have been inspired to upgrade my equipment. And even before I upgrade my equipment, because that's a never ending chase, it can always be better. I started spending more time with my current equipment capture moments, capture emotions, capture feelings. And I did today. I ended up capturing some incredible shots of connection with kids, capturing their smiles and presence and playfulness. And I'm reminded that all we gotta do is show up and we're gonna be shown exactly how we can serve the most. And our gifts are revealed only when we are in action and ready to go out of our comfort zone. I'm being shown that it's not about me. It's about the gifts, it's about sharing. It's about being in the present. It's about being yourself. I'm not trying to fit into any molds that we've created ourselves. Be yourself. Share your gifts. Share your truth. And don't hide any little piece that you think is shameful because it's the most beautiful and unique part of you. So show up fully 
and you will feel so grounded, connected to the earth and stars at the same time, listening to this ocean. And maybe for just a moment you will realize that you have arrived. You are exactly at the right place, at the right time, in the right body. Twice, the toothpaste brand reached out to me. They sent me some toothpaste, I loved it. We got on the phone with co-founder Cody and we just clicked. And he said, end of the month, we're going to the Bahamas with Lenny on a dental mission. And I said, I'll come, I'll help you document it. I'll help you spread the word on social media. I'll take over all the accounts involved. I'll help you amplify your message. And so here I am. See, if you really spend your time on social media, putting out things that align with where you're going, where your gifts are, what kind of people you want to be around, what your talents are, then you're going to attract more of that. I've always thought that when I have more, when I have that extra money, then I will start donating more and supporting causes I believe in more. And from time to time, I've, I've donated things and I've created actually a limited edition Pardable product that all 100% of the proceeds went to a charity in Indonesia dedicated to holistic childbirth. But I've never thought that donating my skills and my time and my energy to a cause could be even more impactful. So I wonder if, if you were to think about what is a skill that you're really good at, but also that really makes you feel alive and lights you up and puts you in communities where you feel like the sense of belonging because of common interest. What would that be? And maybe reach out to someone who is doing something like that and offer your time and your energy because you don't know what kind of adventure you're gonna find. Just like I use food as this language of connecting with people and reminding you to bring mindful rituals into your life, the same way with dentistry. For the doctors that are here, that's their expertise, that's their language. And the message behind it really is to empower people to feel good about themselves, to feel healthy, to smile more.